Hey, I think I pushed live before I pushed the music, so we might have been live for a second. Oh, it's fine. Right. It's What's fine. Up, What's, What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Oh, Look you're doing that thing? Tuesday, Tuesday thing. Tuesday, whatever. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. actually Wednesday, but whatever. It's yeah. National Sibling Day, so we could all be brother and sister. It's, it's National yeah. Sibling. Yeah. yeah, we're all family. It's a day for everything. I swear. What are you drinking, B? What is that? I almost wear my Bang Bang shirt tonight. I'm I'm drinking a white chocolate raspberry brevet. Whoa, fancy, fancy. <laughs> Ditto, Ditto, what's your shirt say? Oh. What's your shirt say? Mine. Ditto. It's oh, a RWK. Nice. I need that one. Except you and E. Oh. Yeah, little Chris RWK in the house tonight, and. Cardi, I got all the hearts going. All I need is B, like a B pin, and then I'd be good. So yeah. we, got, we got Tucci, we got Silly Junk Girl, we got Tammy, we got BK, uh, Michelle, who else here? And that's it. Hi, friends. Hi, Hi friends. It. There's like, friends. What's up, y'all? So we got... Um, do you is, have it, in here? is it just me, or is it just like so much craziness happening all at one time? Like, this is going to be such a crazy year. Yes. There's so many things. I'm pretty sure it's just you. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So it's just me. I can't catch up. About, I can't yeah. catch up. <laughs> nah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's been, it's been a, a roller coaster, to say the least. Dixie and Andrew just showed up. I'll say hi. Jason just showed up. What's up, guys? What's up, y'all? So, guys, we have some guests tonight. Um, we have a... Uh, Benny's our main guest, but we have some artists coming on tonight as well. So stick around. Well, the whole precipice of uh, tonight's show is to kind of talk about this new uh, collaborative effort between Mr. Mars uh, and Tenacious Toys and this beauty right here, the Crush the Can. And uh, we're going to talk all about the collab tonight. We're going to talk all about that show tomorrow uh, with Benny on Whatnot Con with all of these great artists, including two of our own here from DT4. And uh, we've got a few little um, uh, special guests that are going to be popping in. I said little, really only one's little. Yeah. Um, but we have a, a few a few special guests that are also collabing on this uh, show and effort tonight, too. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, it, again, another show, another awesome idea came up with just out of the blue. Boom, let's do a custom show. It's like, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And you're in it, B's in it. It's gonna be very cool. Yeah. I got I have uh so I have just so you know, I'm I'm ready today. I came armed and ready, to rock. I've got uh, -oh. uh yeah, I've got the screen chairs ready to go. I've got tenaciousToys.com up, I've got the whatnot app up, I've got uh the insta up to show Mr. Mars and to show Benny. So I'm I'm ready to go. One nice, yeah. nice. Benny's pumped. He's he's back there. He's got disco. I'm not even lying right now. I'm not even joking. He's got disco lights in the background, like lasers going like all over the place. What? I'm, I'm probably, not even lying. He's probably I just, had a, just had a picture of him with the t-shirt just swinging it around his head. Is you he wearing you know wear those crazy glasses, those Elton John glasses too? Oh, I forgot about those. You know that story about the boy who cries wolf, Brock? Yes, so I know. Because I know. everybody doesn't believe you, nobody's going to believe you. Because every week I bust on the guest in the back room doing something crazy, and but this Excuse time me, Benny, right. Benny is actually doing something crazy. So <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't surprise me in the least. He's probably testing all the lights and everything for the big show tomorrow and whatnot. So oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Saint Texas, I just, I just got that on my head. Why? Why? Yeah, <laughs> Saint Texas. So did you guys get out and watch the eclipse yesterday? Oh, I stared right at it. I was just Monday, like, Monday, yeah. Or Monday, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, he's going to be blind in, in, in about three days now. Did you wear the uh, Sonic glasses? Yes, I wore my glasses, actually. So we had free Sonic. Um, so the so Sonic had Eclipse blackout slush. Like, it was literally like a black slush with a float, like, ice cream in it. Oh. And, and Maya was like, I really want that slush. Well, I did not realize that when you order it, you get free Eclipse glasses with it. Cool. So. Yeah ordered that and we got two pairs of eclipse glasses so e had a pair and i had a pair eyes. and maya got some at school so. now e were you in uh a range of totality <laughs> or were, where were you guys as far as so like the... we were we're about 40 minutes away from like totality. Com complete totality but yeah. where we are it's still very very um 
So did you get to see like oh, all of we the were glory? At 90, yeah. We were at like 99% or 98.5. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty, it was, cool. it was pretty much there. It, it, was, it was also, weird. it was also like bad weather. Like it was really cloudy. So it was just, it was all of a sudden it just got really dark in the house. And then I'll See, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, probably a few hours away from, you know, a range where you could see totality. So I was at like 90, 93%, but I went out and we had a clear, beautiful day. And I kind of just like, you know, took my phone and kept taking pictures and I didn't see nothing. It got a little shadows, yeah, it's... dropped a couple of degrees. And I'm like, my pictures are all just of a hazy sun. So I don't know. I was a little, it, was, it looked like a bad day in LA here. Like yeah. it just cloudy, yeah. foggy, smog. With smog we yeah. ended up getting a tornado watch. I think because of how much of like a press, like a temperature, like the temperature dropped quite a bit. So all of a sudden it was like, you're under a tornado watch at the same time. There were storms and stuff. It wasn't great. It wasn't great weather. I saw the whole thing says really. <laughs> You got a sketch over here with the with the remix. <laughs> He's my brother. Blind from Texas. <laughs> oh boy. That the sun and hey, can I show blind. you something? Look what we got. Yeah, let's oh, show man. off some fun stuff. Oh, oh nice. baby. I'm I sorry, BK. Wait. I apparently got the one that BK wanted. My bad, Brandon. Oh, Ooh, nice. look, they go together so good. I'm not I'm not sorry at all. Rock, where's yours? I um right here. Rock, don't sleep. <laughs> it's Nikki Davis. I said 3D That's DIY. True. That's true. You know, I slept. I didn't get any of the cards. He only did a few. I, I got. It. I did get something kind of fun, and it was for me and B's last stream, uh, two streams ago actually. So they had a little when they were in Austin last. They had a little uh, uh, sneak takeover, and I picked something up, and Sneak sent me this as a gift. So this I love that. Nice. Tiny little two cheese. So is the white written on top of the print or is that part of the print? I think it was part of the print, but so cool. Either way, it's still dope. And then he's got there's me just belting out with my belly and all its full glory, apparently. With Chinese food. Do you know you see uh that print right up there? Yeah, I gotta oh, show yeah. it. Off. I gotta and the other one is one oh, there's somewhere. I got a book. I got a book from Sneak when we did our show together. He did so many drawings for me. It was insane. Oh my God. I didn't even see the back. She, she did. did a, a yeah, sketch. she did. Oh, oh, baby. She did a little doodle on the back. And DXE is also going to be in the custom show tomorrow. That's hey. right. So there's about, a, there's about a dozen artists. We're going to find out all about that here momentarily. Um, so Rock, did, did you uh, did you have glasses for the big event on Monday or did you just uh, go and big event um on the eclipse the solar eclipse oh no i was painting figures and i was looking out my window outside oh. <laughs> it was nothing happened there was yeah. literally nothing to look at cool but you had to look at it with the glasses to be able to see it good well yeah, uh, yeah i guess yeah i saw all the tv coverage that was pr probably good. yeah i knew i wasn't gonna get like dark and stuff it wasn't gonna get crazy so i didn't really get all excited but, <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna bring Benny on. Benny, are you ready back there? Rock just uses laser laser light. Laser light yeah. Make sure you have. I can't hear you, so let's just give me the thumbs up and turn your laser. Oh, he said one minute. He's got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he's still he's not done with his dance party. Don't rush. That's right. He's back there just uh, hanging out. Get literally. So is, that, is that Chris R W K shirt? Is that one of the newer ones? No, I got this uh, fall of last year, maybe. I wonder if he still has any. I need that one. I love the heart with it. Yeah. So Benny is ready. We're going to bring Benny on. We've had him on the show. Another another trivia question. It was another repeat guest on mm -hmm. DT4. So write that one down. We're going to have a couple, I think, today, actually. A couple. Yeah. If, if you're going to keep track at home for the uh, trivia game coming up in 2026 when we produce that overseas. That's right. The at-home um, version. Yeah. Mattel is producing that for us. So that's <laughs> awesome. Uh, Benny, we're going to bring on Mr. Uh, Benny Klein. We're, he's from Tenacious Toys. If you guys don't know Benny, you're in the wrong room because I think everybody in here knows Benny. Um, but let's bring him on. He's got disco lights going. He's got a party going in, there in his apartment. Here we go. Hey, there he is. Oh, what's up, Benny? <laughs> should, I, should I have my phone like this? There we go. Perfect. That works, man. Hey, Benny, by the way, last time you were a guest on DT4, I was under the weather and I wasn't here. So this is the first time I get to participate. Oh my gosh. In an interview with Benny. So I'm so excited about well, that. I'll, 
I'll say something really notable at some point, and you'll just be really thrilled. Blown about away. I'm already, oh. I'm already blown away. The hair is well, glorious. I'm gonna let you in on a little glorious. Story. All of it. I love it all. all he wasn't under the weather. He just, he, he didn't know who you were, and he was like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I, nah, I can't make, can't weird. make that episode, guys. If it's just <laughs> Benny, if it's just Benny, I'm not showing up. If you had Benny and the Jets, I would show up, but that's true. So, oh, uh, oh, hey, there's so. the Jets. Right there. Benny, there is the danger Aww. dog right there. There is the danger dog. Before we start getting into the real reason we're here today, though, I know everybody that's in this room knows Benny, the infamous Tenacious Toys, but there are definitely going to be people that watch us back. There might be a few people that enter the room throughout the night that maybe are a little bit like unfamiliar with you. Tell us a little bit about you and Tenacious Toys. How did it all start? uh you want the origin story yeah i want the origin oh, story yeah. baby i'm sure you, you gave want, it like, last time but i want the, it you want the one minute or like the 15 minute origin story? Uh, give us like the uh one, one and a um, half minute um okay so like uh i graduated from college um uh met my you know future future wife my at the time my girlfriend and uh we we're running around new york city and went into places like um fao schwartz and tower records where we discovered these weird things um, which were sort of not quite toys and not quite like art, really weird, not action figures. And, uh, and actually, as it turns out, what they were, were keys from Toy 2R. And I was like, what mm. are these? Cause I never really grew up. And I, 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 um, I majored in art. Like I was, I've always been an artist. And I was like, what are these things? They're so compelling. Cause they're just like oddball it didn't make any sense i hadn't heard of any of the artists like this company's from hong kong i didn't even know what was going on i thought they were so cool so i bought some keys and that really sort of kicked off my interest in in designer toys that was about um 2004 i would think um and and actually tower records had lots of other really cool non-platform designer toys um uh at the time toy to r was making cool stuff that was not within the key platform, like like just original vinyls and stuff. Um, and I, these things were so cool. Who was it? Um, Mad Barbarians. They make some, they designed some of the coolest designer toys back in like 2003, 2004. Um, and I bought a dog. You gotta stop looking at me because I'm I'm like, <laughs> can you sit over there? We're, we're a very dog friendly show these, here at GT4. No, yeah, but I can only I can only deal with getting licked for so long. Yeah, yeah. Like, ah! <laughs> you know. Um, anyway, we found the designer toys and I basically was like, these are really cool. So we, we, um, actually got into, uh, toy fair and, uh, at the time toy fair had a lot of designer toys in it. So we started buying and selling and it just, it was like really loosey goosey. Um, and, um, uh, I didn't know how to make a website, so I sold them on eBay and, uh, I just, bought weird things that I thought were cool. And that's really how the whole thing coalesced. Like it just got like a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit more, discovering more stuff, ordering wholesale, which Where is really it? important if you actually want to run a business. And um, it just all sort of snowballed. And that was like 2004, 2005, um, when I sort of established it as a business. And, um, you know, it just got bigger every year from there. Basically. Where, did the, where did the name Tenacious come from? Um, came from a book called Tenacious Guard Dogs that my wife had growing up. She was in really into dogs, like all the big guard breeds, you know, like pit bulls and Rottweilers. And like, there's probably Dobrins in there, but they're little babies, actually, and, uh, you know, shepherds and stuff like that. So Tenacious Guard Dogs, that was the name of the book. And so that that stuck in her head. And she was like, you know, I thought it was a cool word. And so Tenacious Toys with the alliteration just just like popped out of her mouth one day. And I was like, yeah, there. that's cool. And for people that don't know, lady. oh, go ahead, B. I'm sorry. Go I was going to say she sounds like a smart lady. She's a very smart lady. Yes, extremely smart. Well, she's with Benny, so I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, we won't we won't hold that against her. We know she. We know she's <laughs> smart. Probably. You, lots, uh, lots, lots of judgment on her part, honestly. You are definitely revered in the community. You are known as somebody who uh, is very knowledgeable. Uh, definitely gets their hands on a lot of cool shit. And you have done a lot of really, really great collabs over uh, artist things. In fact, this past year, I got to meet you in person the first time. Uh, it was very thrilling at New York uh, Comic Con. You had a great show. Uh, you did an amazing piece, uh, you know, a custom show there. And I grabbed a couple of pieces uh, 
And um, now you're doing something that's uh, a new venture for you with uh, an artist by the name of Mr. Mars. And it's this bad boy right here. Right. Talk about the evolution of this product. How did you guys come up with this? Uh, give us the little background on Crush the Can. Uh, do we have one? Do we have one out of the box somewhere? I can take. Uh, one I, I I have I have a bunch here, so I could I could always take one out if you guys want. So they um, are they're pretty cool. Their the design is insane. Amazing. So we were actually talking. Me and me and Mars were talking today about um you know how we sort of met. We all we we actually met quite a long time ago, um five or seven years ago, and um. Uh, just randomly, we're friends with some some of the same people, overlapping friends. And uh, one of our friends introduced us. I think it was at, uh, might have been at Comic-Con. I actually gave him a toy um, at the time. And um, he held on to it. And, uh, you know, I sort of just gave it to him for free because he thought it was cool. And I was like, oh, you know, you do cool toys. Why don't you just take this and do something with it? Um, and... Um, he sort of remembered me and he's had the opportunity to make toys with a lot of different sort of toy makers and shops and, and, and he sort of didn't do it with any of them. And he had in, he told me today that he had it in the back of his head, that he's going to make his first toy with me. And, um, I didn't really know that we sort of like, you know, I, I don't want to say we, um, didn't deal with each other for like five or seven years, but you know, we started, he's doing his own thing and I was doing my own yeah. thing. And uh, it didn't really coalesce until, um, uh, gosh, when would it have been? It was probably mid last year. Um, we we just had a long conversation on the phone. And I, you know, I was like, basically like, yo, like you're really cool. And sort of like, I, I respect his hustle and his work ethic and like our values are, are aligned. And so I was like, why don't you know, we, why, why have we never done something together? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, like, what would you want to do? And he's like, well, I have this character. And he described it. And it's like really complicated. And he's like, then I have this Crush, Crush the Can character that I've been illustrating for a really long time. And I was like, there we go. Like, that sounds like something that w w we could make and, and would be a, a really cool thing. You know, you don't want to get too complicated with a toy. Because when you get really complicated and really specific becomes harder to sell and it's also more expensive so yeah. like you're just starting out and we're like feeling each other out you know like i always tell everyone that ha uh, making a toy together is like having a baby uh it, it takes forever it takes nearly a year it costs a bajillion dollars and you really have to have a good relationship to make that work out because you're like stuck together you know um so we well, you that's know, not like making a baby that's funny <laughs> it is it takes the same amount of time as 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 gestating a human child literally um yeah. and, and you do want the concept to be you know kind of self-explanatory you don't want to you don't want it, it's cool to have like a little backstory and stuff like that but you don't want to be looking at this going what is it and, and i mean something as simple as crush the can the yeah. name's great obviously people get the spray can concept it it, it, it kind of explains itself it sells itself yeah yeah. Well, and what and what Mars does with cans is incredible. So, I mean, it yeah. brings it full circle. But two years ago, it's funny that this whole thing came back around and I was actually in this show two years ago at Designer Con. I met Mr. Mars, didn't know who he was. I was I was first time to Decon and he had some of those figures, the resin little guys that he little, had the made. little ones. Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah. And I just fell in love with them. I'm like, these are so cool. And I, he was one of my favorite booths at Decon that year. And, um, so his, it's funny that it's come back around two years later. His, his pieces are always very well received. I was actually, I was, we were having a little love fest on the phone, uh, uh, earlier today because you know, the, the project is sort of like, we've kicked it off now. So now it's like, mm -hmm. we've shown that it's, it's a thing and that it's successful. And, um, we the the stress is a little bit off now right because like when yeah. you're before you release them you're like you know everyone no matter no matter who they are they're like uh oh is this how's this gonna go you know because like we put a we put a lot of money into it and like you know we're both hustling real hard like hope it goes well you know and um and the release went really well and then i got the um i got the platforms out to you guys and we're also planning subsequent custom shows after um, the whatnot show as well. Right. So, so, you know, there's pieces out to artists already. Like there have been for a, a while. Um, like right after I started sending to you guys, 
there was other pieces going out to others because it's, you know, we have to think long-term and big picture. It's not just, it's not just the whatnot community. Like that's yeah. what I'm involved in. And, and we are a little, we're a little, we're a niche within the niche, sure. right? Yeah. But yeah. there's a whole big world outside of like our little, little, little niche and whatnot, you know? Um, and we've got a platform, we, you know, we have hundreds of these, so it's time to get out there and we got to be out in front of everyone. So, um, you know, our little love fest today was like, I was telling him that, you know, he was, uh, you know, a really good partner because he, um, he has a good design sense and he hustles real hard and he, um, he's all business, you know, and he, uh, crosses his T's and dots his I's. And that's the kind of a partner I need when I'm doing something like this. Yeah. I, I can't, I can't carry the whole burden. Yeah. Um, yeah. Too you much. want, you it, want somebody who's going to, who's going to share the load there for sure. Yeah. Uh, so let me ask a couple of questions here uh, before we get into the whatnot con and your show tomorrow. But full disclosure before ditto, um, we uh, Mr. Mars was going to come on, but he has to work tonight. So he yeah. was not yeah. able to come on. So we Sorry. did invite him on. Um, he is all about the toy. Like it's it's he just had to work tonight. So, yeah, he is. He is. Um, once you get to know him better, he is. So when he. um one of the things that makes him a good partner in a toy project is when he has an obligation, he holds to it. And so he had a couple of things going on today that he had previously, you know, like right now he's doing something. So um, he doesn't, he doesn't let, you know, let things go. Just, he doesn't fly off and go do something else when you, he has an obligation that he's previously uh, agreed to, you know, and that's part of what makes him like a, like a great person to work with. You know, yeah. Hey. So sorry, I you got you guys got me. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so you had teased uh, that there are other shows beyond tomorrow's, which we're going to talk a lot about here in depth in a moment. Um, do can you tease any of those future plans with uh, the Crush the Can? Um. So so Mars is a graffiti artist from Denver, mm -hmm. amongst many other things, and he has uh, a whole crew of people that are insane artists. And uh, so that was the natural choice for the next, you know, the next uh, iteration of Crush show. Like, you know, his, it only makes sense that like, like, right. The whatnot show is basically like my contacts, like all of you guys are people that I know sure, and sure. I want to work with. And the next one is his, his crew, the people that he's been working with for years. And after that, is all the other artists who are not on whatnot and there's a lot of them oh, and yeah. are not a part of you know his like denver graffiti crew so cool. so it's really like we have at least three shows planned out so that we can work with we both have a lot of contacts we can work with the people we really want to work with yeah. and have each of these shows make sense like have it have a theme like siloed you know um and and properly promote that and have the artists involved in each show make sense as a group. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now I, I like that he did it in the DIY. DIYs are very popular, obviously right now, especially um, people are really kind of getting into creating on other canvases. Um, is there plans for there to be crush the cans that are already kind of, you know, not DIYs? We, we, have, we have talked about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and yes. So, so like when you make a, a figure like this, like we've paid for the tooling, right? So that's the expensive part. Um, mm -hmm. when you move from a DIY figure to one that's painted at the factory, um, uh, as, as a second or a third run in the figures, right. You no longer have to pay that crazy tooling cost. So that's good. But then also the deco is a thing that costs money at the factory. So it's, it's, it's a little bit less on one side and a little bit more on the other. So, um, this is kind of a natural progression of a character. Now, no one progresses into a vinyl toy with deco unless you're unless the character is well received, right? So yeah. it, it's the whoever does the deco, the the paint scheme, it's either got to be Mars, right, or it's got to be a mega popular artist, correct? Who, yeah, who yeah. we know we can sell a hundred units yeah. of, of their product. Um, you know, sometimes it's a really popular artist who's associated with someone else's shop or business, right? So then we can sell an exclusive and, and they can buy 
And it's like, here's your hundred or your 50. Yeah, right. And it's, it's you guys, you know, um, or it's Mars's design where it's presented in the way that the characters, you know, the characters kind of, he's got a green, a green and purple thing going on, you know, uh, yeah. you know, when he illustrates it. So, um, and eventually I could see there being, you know, drops at certain cons, you know, special, uh, limited yeah. drops and things. Yeah. Like that. But that. we, we have talked about, um, other colors, um, uh, uh, as a follow-up, uh, other DIY, like glow, other glow in the darks, other, uh, colored, uh, solid color figures. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really, <laughs> if it does really well. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing that we would, uh, definitely consider. Um, kind of like the the skinny caps. So you have the black, you have the red, green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That Blue. one, that one, um, I made all in one go. Um, so that mm -hmm. was, um, yeah, back in the day when you know, <laughs> like there's a lot more money flowing. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, that was a cost saving decision because if I I made a thousand of them and. Um, you can't sell a thousand of anything uh, these days in vinyl toys. So I made, you know, 10 different colors. Uh, so at the time that made sense. Uh, I mean, it, it, it still made sense. I'm sold out of most of them. So, so, yeah. so let's get into then tomorrow, which is whatnot con. Um, how many total artists? Six, seven. How many? Uh, I think it's 12. Uh, is it that many? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you like me to read them off? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's go through let's the list. Hear, let's hear um, the, all yeah. of the artists because we got two in this room right now. Yeah. More coming in here shortly. There's, there's some weird guy named Jim Rowe. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah, I've heard very bad things about that guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have Glass, um, Glass Inc., who's known as uh, uh, also known as Ryan. Um, we have Grimly. We, have... we don't we don't use government names here, Benny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have sketch okay. we have b since we're not using your government name there it is, b. it's not it's not bethany it's fine it's just b yeah it's i b. did i by the way i've gotten really good at making the character the enye? what is it called an enye? enye it's literally called an enye it's yeah, like yeah. A wave. it's a wave to me it's a wave. I, I figured out how to do it i mean i've done it before but like i i in the past couple of days, I've never had to make that so many times. So I got it. Well, no, it like, oh. don't worry. We don't always oh. sign it with that. So it's like really okay. And a lot of times it causes issues on. I know things. that oh. the, the, the computer. Like sad that, Anna. Sad oh. Anna was. Yeah, that's right. Have the like the <laughs> I just shipped. Um, I was just trying to ship a package to Poland. And um. one of the vowels in Krakow had like a weird thing on it. And they're like, no. And I'm like. Yeah. Let me just change it to an O. It's like, yeah, it's okay. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Anyway, yeah, no, don't worry about the Enya. Just future reference. I'm not going to be offended. It's okay. Uh, well, you I be, like, I I'm happy oh, about it. Um, we we have we have Tucci the Tucci. Do you guys call it call her Ink Tucci? It's no, it's, it's Ink it's Ink Tucci. She has plenty we've, of names. We've anointed her uh, Tucci, <laughs> tiny little Tucci. Plenty uh, of names Tucci, that we can't yeah, even say on here. Got like, so there's, many names. there's oh boy, yeah, oh boy. Um. That was all red that started calling her Tucci. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh. Uh, we got Ghosty, Evil Ghosty. Nice. We got Sneaky, uh, Sneaks. We have uh, DXC, um, Cardi Artists. Um, I don't know if we're not going with government names, then it's pretty good posters. Um, and Mr. Mark. Ando. Yeah, he, yeah. Goes by, he goes by Ando on his oh, artist name. Is yeah. that not his government name? Well, I mean, uh, he, he I mean, puts it on the creatives card. That's good enough for us. It's, it's very <laughs> nickname-ish, you know, yeah. so it, it works. Um, so that's, that's actually 12 artists if you include Mr. Mars. He was he was going to maybe um, paint up some of his own pieces and uh, yeah. we, might, we might sell one well, of them. Well, it, so, it, it's quite the lineup. I want to I wanna ask real quick before, because we got a few of the artists that have uh, custom that are going to come in the room here in a little bit, Benny. I want to kind of get uh, rock and bees vibes on not only the character, the the canvas itself, but then what their inspiration on their uh, their you know custom was. So, rock, let's start with you. So, my biggest thing was is I wanted to put something in his other hand, and I wasn't sure what that was going to be. Um, I know Sketch put a uh, Mister Sketch in his hand. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that hand, so I did with the graffiti and the spray can in one. I put the paintbrush in the other. 
Um, and I made mine rattle. So it's like a rattle can. Oh, nice. Um, Would you I, put, put ball bearings in there or something? Or what yep, you do? I put yeah. it inside there and sealed it up and uh, it shakes. So, Benny, uh -oh. make sure you shake it up tomorrow. Breaks that, you know, that makes me really worried because it's got the, uh, the, it's got the, it's got the paintbrush on it and it's like, it wigs me out to like shake everyone's puff. I don't think it should pop out. It's in there pretty hard. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, how cool. So it's black light reactive on the green. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah, you can drop it out. <laughs> and he has no horns anymore. <laughs> um, so and yeah, that was removable. <laughs> Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. my, you know, I had to put the horns on it to make it different. I wanted to keep it crush the can. So we, since it is a, a new drop that I wanted it to still look like crush the can, but just a, a monster style of crush the can. So yeah. I want to do the black light paint and it, it turned the, out really the, good. The blue paint is black light react. It, it, it does react. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's nice. nice touch, man. Yeah. Yeah. I love, yeah. Yeah, I love the crown on the back too. I love the crown on the back. You're killing it, Rock. In fact, uh, Benny, at, at the NYCC show, you had Rock in, I believe what, Rock, you can correct me if I'm wrong, your very first custom show, correct? Yeah, it was. And uh, if you recall, Benny, I went over there and I looked at that thing <clears throat> and there were so many amazing pieces and I called Rock and I said, literally, he was over at, Re at Red's booth working and I called him and he answered, he said, what's up? I'm like, uh, are you going to be mad if I buy your piece? He's like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, well, cause like, it's really freaking cool. And he's like, dude, I'm honored. And I'm like, all right, I'm buying it. So I yeah. bought it. Cause I didn't want, I didn't want to take it away from anybody else that maybe had earmarked or whatever, but, but you killed that one. You killed this one. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Another person who's killing it is our very own B Saldana. And she's in the show too. So Benny, r real quick, before we get into B's thoughts on this, how did you, go about choosing some of the artists you chose from the whatnot community i mean well i mean i mean i sort of actively i mean we all see each other on all these shows all yeah. the time sure. uh so you know honestly like oh my shows that are really active that like everyone's like sort of bantering back and forth inevitably have like six of these artists yeah in there just sort At of all times yeah. And, and yeah helping i always um because I work with Ryan a lot. Uh, I work with, I work Last. with Les a lot. And so every time I make a show, I just make him a mod um, of every show I do. Just just so he can, because he usually tunes in. And it's just really useful to have someone else just modding for you, just on the notch if you need it, you know. Um, so, and I, I sell his customs on my website a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, so, so it's a natural choice to like, you know, choose some of the people that are like immediately surrounding us you know it's just that's that's our little yeah that's our little space so that's like that's I, I really wanted um all the artists that we deal with all the time to be in this show and then i kind of asked some of you like is there anyone else that you know that is because the key thing was like are they a whatnot user yeah. um yeah. you yeah. know a daily broadcast because like you know the whole point is like you know as yeah. many artists as possible would come on the show just to chat a little bit and, and liven up the show. So it's not just me yeah. like, at the wall for uh, an hour and a half. You know? So you, you wanted the artists that kind of lived within the whatnot community that are streamers yeah. that know a little bit about the platform that could represent, you know, the brand in, yeah. in, in well, effective and I mean, kind of, they're all super talented artists, yeah. but oh, I mean, you course. know, yeah. the other part is like, I don't, you know, it's much easier to have them involved than like onboard a dozen people who have never used yeah, one. True. I mean, yeah. it's just, I, I was like, cause as um, in, we're not on whatnot right now, but like, if you're not on whatnot as a seller, right. You can't Cobra, you can't co-host. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's like, Oh, I mean, it's actually easy to get whatnot to sign on new people. I, I just like, they'll, they'll go through my referral link and I'll just send them a message mm -hmm. to support. And I'm like, Hey guys, this, this person's going to come on with me and, yeah. and they're usually accepted within 24 hours. We're, uh -huh. we're going to call an audible real quick because I know Cardi, I see Cardi in the green room. Okay. He, he is on his break from work. So we're oh, going to cool. bring him on like super Good. quick. All right. Mr. Cardi. Cardi. Oh. Oh, Cardi. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 What's oh. up, Mr. Run DMC with the Adidas shirt on? <laughs> 
Repping, yeah. Cardi. Cardi, I'm repping, baby. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my, you're my biggest supporter, man. I love your hat. I love your flex fit hat. No, thank you. You thank can get those at uh, cardiartist.com. All right, go so ahead. So, Cardi, I, we saw your piece. Some of us saw your piece, not everybody. Um, you killed it. I love the the I love the the chain. What was your what was your uh, inspiration? What did you go for? Yeah, my take on it was I was like, you know what? Um, let me turn this this spray can into an actual can. I was so I I I I'm always using the Montego or or ninety fours. So I was like, you know what? Let me turn it into an. I think that actually worked because uh, from what I saw, uh, I was like, okay, I, I, I didn't want to, you know, anything that anybody else had. So uh, I was like, let, let me turn this into a can, you know? And and uh, when I saw the 94, I said, give it that like 90 style. So I gave it, you know, the chain. I gave it, you know, the graffiti in the back. I put the uh, heart of New York on the back too. That's like my ongoing theme right now. Awesome. Um, bro that is disgusting i yeah, know you really yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's it, pretty gross that's and gross. Dude, look at the eyes look at what he did uh, inside the like eyes the teeth the yeah. teeth the, the the grill piece yeah, i love, I love the it. grill piece yeah. Yeah. so yeah i was like you know what let, let me 90s this guy up you know but still keep him as a spray can that he is you know so he's he's a 94 you know montana holding the montana gold Spray paint. Is that a is that a zip up sweatshirt? Is that a zipper on the front? Yeah, yep. yeah. Especially it's a zip up truck jacket. But it's dude, like, um, you even customize the box. Insane. That's oh awesome. my god, Cardi, you killed it, buddy. You've been killing everything you do, buddy. You really have. It's you're you're just up. You've upped your game in the past year and a half like no other. It's ridiculous. You just with every piece, it's just like continues to blow my mind. And Honestly. he's not stopping. Cardi is on a trajectory right now for this year. To yeah. I, I, I've talked to him about a few things that he's got going. It, it's nuts. Cardi is on his way. Like he's he's cruising. I so. can't wait, guys. And you know, thanks to definitely want to thank uh, you know Ando and uh, B also because you know, chat room. You guys, you know, were able to put my name into the chat too, so that way I could be a part of this. You know, thanks to Mr. Mars, to you know Benny. Benny, I know Benny for a while already, and you know we worked prior on on a on a previous uh, uh, the Playful Gorilla and 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 Tenacious Toy Skinny Cat before, so that was an awesome project. So I was like, you know what, I can't I can't pass this on. So yeah, thank you. I th thanks for taking time. I know you're I know you're super busy. So this is a really really tight custom. Like everything's really, you know, one thing I really like with customs is it's dry. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, and I was know. nervous about that, but you know, like I, I, I try my best to not leave as much texture as possible, you know, and, and I didn't want to like, you know, want as less tackiness as possible as well, but yeah, I hope everybody likes it and, you know, I try to do the best and just give it that 90 style, you know? Yeah. You killed it, man. Yeah. You, you killed did. it. I love and it. guys, you can go to Benny's whatnot right now and pre-bid on any of these toys right now. They're already loaded, ready to go. You can pre-bid right now. So if you can't make the show, you can pre-bid now. And we're going to, uh, I've got one, you know, we got a couple of guests coming in. I know, Cardi, you're on a break, so you don't have uh, much time left here. But we are going to pull up uh, a little bit later on the show the uh, WhatNot page and kind of show them off and see yeah. where, where we can pre-bid and everything. So we'll give you a little tutorial on that. If you are new to WhatNot or you're not familiar as familiar, we'll give you all the instructions here in a little bit. Yeah, please do, please do. Thank you to everybody on here. Uh, you guys have been such a blessing in my life. So thanks, thanks to everybody here. Well, we love right, you, Cardi. Cardi. We love you, buddy. And we will see love you, you tomorrow during the show. Definitely. Love I'll you, Cardi. Hearts. See you, bud. Love the hearts. Thanks. Later, Cardi. <laughs> Bye. All right. So we we do have two other guests in the green room. So do if we want to bring one at a time, or how do you guys want? to Well, do let's let's real quick. Let's uh, let's uh, let's get back to B very quickly, and then we'll just bring them both on at the same. Let's bring them both on at the same time. I think. Okay. Well, yeah. Do we not? Oh, look at look at Benny. <laughs> there it is. Wow. He wasn't lying. I thought I he was you. lying. I told you. Oh, what's happening? My God. Benny Benny happening. has learned all the uh, new tricks. Look at that. What else? What else we got? What else can we do here? That's, That's hilarious. No, I'm gonna be here. Get get somebody else on. All right, I'm always okay, here. All right, all right. Uh, well, I say bring them both on. We know we but we know them. We love them. 
they're we're they're all friends of ours so uh let's just bring them both in at the same damn time let's all right tucci are thumbs you up. ready give me a thumbs up if tucci is ready sneak are you ready put that drink down there you go you ready uh, he's like yeah i'm ready i'm here what uh-huh, are you talking what? about <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey. What's up, people? Oh, now it's a party. Okay, well, hold <laughs> on. I got to do it real quick because the two the two people that are involved in this print are both on. Here we go. A one, a two. Tiny little two cheese. Yeah. Awesome. Sneak, sneak in his little studio going at like a little toy maker over there. Look at him. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I was in grind mode. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, you obviously all know these people. But if anyone's watching afterwards, we've got the lovely, the talented, the fantastic, the uh, tiny little Ink Tus, a.k.a. Tiny Little Tucci. Uh, she literally has had her artist name changed by the entire community. <laughs> multiple AKA times. Little Lady, what the hell? <laughs> and then, and then the, uh, the, the master of sneak, Sneaky. Uh, you know him, you love him, New York based artist or New Jersey based artist. Sorry, and I was he about is, to uh, say, fix that. Come yeah, on, my man. bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> uh, dope, dope, two dope human beings, very, very cool, very talented. Thanks for coming on DT4. Uh, Tucci, we'll start with you. So, yeah. you, uh, you also got the invite to be part of this Crush the Can uh series, and there's the custom right there. Talk about the platform. Talk about oh, and sketches in too. Oh, talk about the platform. Right? <laughs> we'll, bring sketch, we'll bring sketch in too. Yeah, there you I was go. About, oh, I, I was like, I, I'm sorry, I was in the background just uh, listening. Uh, talk, talk about talk about your inspiration and and your piece there, uh, Tooch. First of all, only person that can interrupt me is Sketch. Love you, dude. Um, So a little bit about my process is that usually when I do a custom toy, I have to like sit it on my desk and stare at it for months. Well, I didn't have months. uh, So I just went with something I knew I could execute. Um, I'm I dabble in sculpting sometimes, but, you know, I'm not super confident in it. So I just stuck with straight paint on this one. Um, I got really good feedback when I've done the cactus figures in the past, like the dumpster fire and the skull for rocks show. Um, And then part of the tiny Tucci theme song at one point was that there's a scorpion on her back uh, because, you know, I live in the hell desert of Arizona. So there's my little scorpion. That's the first time I've drawn a scorpion. He's kind of grumpy. I gave him, (laughs) I gave him the nitrile gloves, you know, just the classics and then the brain at the top there. I love, love doing the girl. brain with the eyeballs. And then for the can, I just did a tiny version of it. And I kind of I kind of love that. The little brain <laughs> is in there too. Oh, fun. Yeah. I, like I like that you kept it without sculpting on it. I like that you yeah. could you know it's crushed the can. It's a brand new uh, that again, I that's how I did mine too. I love that. I think it looks so good. Thank you. Color scheme, mm-hmm. the color scheme is beautiful. Yeah, it's on point. Thank My favorite you. part is the the brain on top. That yeah. looks really dope. Like, Thank you. Oh, and I tried to do the the cap. I tried to do it kind of like a cactus flower. It was it was a little uh, hard to do, but there's there's petals in there. So nice. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for letting me be a part of the show. I'm not sure how I got on the roster, but I super appreciate it. I uh, you you do great work. So uh-huh. someone said someone said check out her work. I was like, yeah. Oh, I appreciate that. It. Thank you. Again, guys, these are available right now to pre-bid. If you guys want like any of these toys, you can go over to the Benny's page. We'll we'll show you more later, but you can go pre-bid now. So if you'd like. New new feature on whatnot, I guess, right? Yeah, it's been around for a little while. Yeah, it's a new feature on whatnot, Jeff. Yeah, for you, Benny. <laughs> yes. We had that conversation today. That's a new feature. Brand new feature. It's brand new. Thanks. So so Mr. Sneak, what are we working on back there, little quiet little bunny back there i'm working on about 15 different things all at once because i i wait till last minute because i'm a a bad artist (laughs) Um, no that's that's pretty uh, typical i just think that that's art life sometimes you know yeah that is a whole nother level though so give us the scoop sneak what's this all about So my character came out of frustration more of because I was heavily intimidated by all of the other artists. 
I, I thought I had an idea from the jump in which I had came up with a bunch of illustrations, but my brain goes crazy whenever I'm trying to come up with one single idea. Uh, so with my sin- my my signature sinister smile, that's more of what I went with, and I wanted to make it shiny and just I didn't want to overthink it. I wanted to be flat out, you know, just flat colors, super cool, and just go straight in and get it done. So I love the I. I love the horny look to it. It's I love the horns on there. You intimidated you. me too because I saw your <laughs> horns and I said, "Shit, I was supposed to do horns." Damn it. Let me make but... more horns. More <laughs> horns is better. Right? He's like, "I'll two, I'll two more, up more you." More cowbell. You can never more have cowbell. Enough, more cowbell. Cow- I said, enough "I horns. could be horny. I could get extra horny." So <laughs> I'm gonna put six horns on this thing. Yeah, one, two. Three, four, no, it's, it's more because there's some small ones. There's here. horns down oh, on the little yeah. guy right here. Mm-hmm. All right, Snake. The the and, stage is I mean, set. I got you. Just yeah. like Rock, I do love my horns. So yeah, yeah I'm horny, Rock. He did. <laughs> he I, think have, I think it um sneaks. I'm I'm counting twelve horns actually. One, two, three, four. Look, this. What? What about the little, the little, this little one right here? That's a horn. Yeah, yeah that's a horn. Yeah, so technically, yeah. It's 12 horns. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll never said, be Rock, that. I will see you your horns and raise you. You win. You yeah. win. I quit. <laughs> Step your horn game up, Rock. Come on, nope. <laughs> yeah, <he's a> rock. <laughs> nope, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No more horns. Coming soon. <laughs> that and I also wanted to play with the concept of playing with the molding clay as well because I wanted, like, some small additions on there. So, yeah, I mean, I... Was generally happy with how it came out, and it's, it's awesome. my first time doing it. it yeah, I, I I did a custom for it was for Trash Panda, and it was for his cupcakes. Yeah, I threw that sucker across the room because I could not move that thing. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Well, let's go for a second try and see how this goes. So, yeah. <laughs> love it. Yeah, that's amazing, though. I I guess I didn't realize we had twelve of us in the show. That's gonna be a great show, Benny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's a good it's a good number. I, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna work everyone into like an hour and a half or two hours, but we'll just we'll just keep it clipping along just like what you're doing here, I guess. Yeah. Sneaky new, sneaky new. He made a horn for everybody that was on that show. That's not, right. not only that, but Sneak, you uh, you tailored right to one of the uh, main buyers by the coloration scheme there. You're like, oh, Dondo will buy this. I got it. Let's do it well, purple. I, I also oh. love my, my envious purple, so yeah. that's just yeah. a go-to. Yeah. yeah, it's it's great, man. You killed it, as always. Both, both you and Tooch knocked him out mm. of the park. Love and it. Shout out to Pat Buck, because I know Pat was the one who put my name up in the air for, for this. And also, thank you, Benny. For Patrick's that, Benny. a huge supporter. Yeah. yeah. He looks a good dude. Awesome. Great job, Scott, or Sneak. Thank really, you. really nice. Really nice. Great job. Yeah, there's. This is gonna be fire show. This is. This is. Are you gonna stream it on YouTube as well, Benny? Like you've been doing. Yeah, I. I um. If if everything works out technically, it goes out on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Should be a great show, and it's a good way to kick off Whatnot Con too, because it's like yeah. I, I know you may. I again, I don't know the whole. I know there's a lot of different categories and a lot of different types of genres and stuff that are gonna be doing Whatnot Con, but I think from the designer toy world, you're probably. Kind of the one kicking us all uh, off for yeah. For I mean, account, so that's pretty. Dope. I kind of like, I kind of like that because everyone's fresh, and I get to I get to sort of set the pace and the tone for it. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. And um, I think we um we were very fortunate because everything came together like time wise. Like I asked a lot of you guys um by giving you a very short time period to like get these done, but when we did our drop for the the crushes, like somewhere in there planning that i got the email from whatnot and they're like we're doing whatnot con i'm like you're doing what 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 you know and they're like yeah. sign up here and i was like <laughs> and and then it was like Perfect. 11 through 14 i was like uh you know looking at my calendar i'm like um um yeah let's do that like it just sort of happened all at the same time and i was like hope i can pull it off you know Serendip- well, going, serendipitous baby i'm going on after you in the evening because they didn't have tuesday available of course they only did the three or four days so i have a small little show tomorrow night after yours but we'll give nice. some stuff away i'm just going to give a bunch of stuff away 
that's just the nice. way I'm gonna do it. Uh, another artist uh, that popped in is uh, also in the show. I don't know if you have his piece handy, but uh, Mr. Sketch has been literally just blazing trails with all of the work yeah. he's been doing. And he's got a, a he doesn't have a whatnot con show, but he does have a show coming up on the 15th tax day Monday. Just after Whatnot Con, it'll be post Whatnot Con, but it's going to be the best kind of post Whatnot Con. He's actually doing a collab show with his daughter, so we'll talk about that before we let you go, Sketch. But yeah, right now, I'm the after party. There he goes, the after party. Sketch, talk while Benny's getting your piece. Talk about your uh, your. Well, a lot of people, a lot of people are on here. Like, I don't know how I got chosen. I literally saw Benny at an Up magazine and begged him to be on it. Like, I paid him. Like, I was like, "Yo, I'll pay you to let me paint this." I, I <laughs> wanted them all. I literally wanted them off the table. Yeah, well, Sketch, I, Sketch, he he tried, tried, it, my sample. Benny, Benny <laughs> was live. Benny was live on Instagram. And and I saw a Sketch come up to Benny during the live and yep. say, "Hey, can I buy one of these?" And <laughs> Benny's like, uh, "No, this is just a sample." I know, you know they're <laughs> they're Sketch dropping. No, 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 no. I give you a hundred. True story. It's a true story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So give us the scoop, uh, Mr. Sketch. Um, so, uh, like everybody else. Uh, I'm a purist. I didn't want to take too much away from the the, the can because the design is dope. Uh, so I was just thinking, like, what can I put with it? So I actually 3D modeled and printed the crush coming out of the can and painted it. Um, I 3D printed and modeled the Mr. Sketch that he's holding because I figured what big of a collab than hold a pencil and spray, spray the man's name. Um, I put Mr. Mars on the back because it is a Mr. Mars piece nice. um, at the end of the day. And you know, hit it with the black light, put them with the sketchy face. Um, the can is green on the box, so there is hints of green from the original can. It almost looks like he I wanted it to look like he painted a Mr. Sketch face on. So and it is. It was a. it was a really it's a really good piece to work with. It has a lot of space, it has a lot of uh, realty on there to to really work with. So it is a. Uh, it you might have piece. some new pieces in the boom boom room soon here with all this black light reactive re reactive uh pieces. This is yeah. dope. That's crazy. I gotta make some space. You gotta get rid, of these, get rid of these funkos. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> these funkos. Yeah. Yeah, so do I, E. So do I. And again, very, very appreciative that Ben was like, sure, let's be a, be on the show. I'm gonna send this to you. Um, sometimes, you know, I only met Benny once in, in, in Comic-Con and he didn't even like, I don't even think he like put it together that it was me. So it was like the second time I met him at this thing. He was like, oh, hey, Sketch. And I was like, oh. No, he he knew. It was I was you. like, he Benny, actually told Benny me. knows me. Was no, like, he actually told me, me he didn't really like you that much, Sketch, during Comic-Con. <laughs> he was like, oh, Sketch is kind of driving me nuts, Rock. Kind of keeping Because I was standing next to Ditto. See, that's the problem. Yeah. That's a shit. Hey, hey, hey. Never stand next to Ditto. That's, 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 <laughs> it was oh. a big thing. It was hey, a big man. thing. Oh, I am I am notorious for like like blanking out during during uh, conventions because I'm like I'm like so focused. Yeah, on what focus, laser people focus. We'll come up and they'll be like, "Hi," and I'm like, "Who are you?" <laughs> I mean, he did that to us. We're he like, did, I don't think he knows who we are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did the same thing to me because I I was fanboying at, boying at Creatives Con. I was like, "Dude, I'm a big fan of all of your stuff, like everything you do." And you were just, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like, I, I'm trying not to do too much, but I was just like, all right. Well, Tucci, now you know what to expect when you get I to know, meet I was Benny in say, yeah, I, I, remember, I remember Benny was on a live once, and, and I jumped on, and he's like, oh, hey, Sketchy. He was like, oh, wait, Sketch, you're a Yankees fan. I'm going to send you a hat. And I was like, is he really going to send me a hat? And yo, he really sent me a hat. And I was like, I got a yeah. Benny hat. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. What was it? Uh, like that. It's a Sorry. it's a fitted, right? Yeah, it was the purple yeah. fitted with the yeah. with the dog on it. Yeah, it's yeah. one of my favorite hats. Yeah, I got I got I picked up real real ass Yankees hats from the Yankees <laughs> store and sent them to Five Borough. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, embroidered. I, I'm just like I'm. There's nothing more New York than a Yankees Yankee hat, hat with a freaking pit bull on it. Like like that's like yeah. the, that's the most New York thing that ever happened. You yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. correct. I've been having fun customizing your pit bull there, Benny. Um, I love it. I Benny love sent him. me a bunch of minis to do mm -hmm. for the series. Uh, so, Danger Dog or? Yeah. yeah. Danger, 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 Danger Dog. Yeah. We got some in the Boom Boom room. They're fun. Mm -hmm. They're permanently the boom, the boom Boom room. Yeah. That's, that's cool. 
Glass. Uh, uh, the little one. He still doesn't know who I am. You don't know who Glass is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, Benny, while you're uh, while you're grabbing the pieces, we have one more person here that uh, we we need to spotlight, and that's Miss B. Saldana. She yes. also is in this show. Yes, and uh, I think B, you killed this piece as well. So let's Thank let's talk know. about your inspiration and and uh, what you feel about this new uh, platform. So, B. B from uh, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um so with this piece I just wanted to kind of keep it pretty simple. Um I still haven't done the whole like sculpting thing yet. I didn't want to attempt it on something this like amazing. So I, love I just kind of it clean. Um and then of course I had to put like my positive spin on it and so I kind of used his name as as motivation for that. Um and then as much as like I do rainbow, I love rainbow and, and black or, you know, I always hear my favorite colors. My favorite like color way together is red, black, and white. Like yep. when I grew up, when I was growing up, my mom painted um, a New York City skyline in my room that was all black with like red accents. And then when I turned off the lights, all the windows in the, si in the sky like glowed. And That's so cool. red, black, and white are just like my favorite. And so I just want to keep it simple and I like be I like that you did something like not rainbow. Like I when I saw that piece, I'm like, wait, that's B's piece? Like it yeah. I had to take a double take and I love it. It's well, got I'm that still trying to figure out my whole artist vibe, you know, but I, I know that I, I love positivity. I know I love hearts, but the colorways I feel like can fluctuate. And mm -hmm. and I I really wanted to try something different with this you piece. Know, so amazing, nice. amazing yeah. fact. Amazing Dude. fact, B's handwriting is actually like that. She writes like a graph artist, Crazy. naturally. It's insane. It's uh, insane because most like, artists they, don't have good handwriting. She's, all, she's <laughs> always done that too. Like, you know, she's the person that if somebody has to write like a sign, they're like, hey, uh, B, can you, can you come to this? <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, she did break the arm. I uh, did. She broke the arm off, snapped it. I fixed it. Why'd you uh, write her out? Oh, and, so and, it's a, it's a collab because he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he wanted to contribute. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. She was frustrated. So I was like, I, I got it. I got it. I got Let it. me tell you how hard this piece is like pretty indestructible. Okay. So the fact that I broke it is pretty impressive. So I wanted <laughs> to try to get the hands off. And so I put it in boiling water and I was like, okay, I'm going to get this hand off. And, and I boiled it for like, I'm not kidding, 20 minutes trying to get this thing hand. I could not for the life of me get it off. <laughs> so then I put it in the oven and I baked Oh, no, no, B. No, you. <laughs> No, Marsh told me to. Marsh no. said that's that's the suggestion. So that's I put crazy. it in the oven. Same thing. Would not crazy. Come off. I'm in my kitchen like this. And all of a sudden the whole thing flies across the room, but I knew it didn't break where the hand was. And I looked and half the arm was missing with it. And I was like, <laughs> that's that Texas strength. Well, hey, you know what? That's about that's <laughs> like make that's making toys. You love it. I love it. So I was like borderline crying at this point, right? And I'm like, I go lay in bed and he's like, What's wrong? And I was like, I just broke the custom and I haven't even started it yet. And and so he's like, Let me fix it. And so he went and he he put clay on it and he, you know. Fixed it right up for me. So yeah, you can't even you can't even tell. Yeah. So literally, guys, blood, sweat, and tears went into this piece. So <laughs> that was also keep, very keep, that, keep that in mind when you're bidding tomorrow. Blood, the next sweat, step would have been be just throw it in the microwave. Just put it. You go from the water to the <laughs> oven to the micro. Well, <laughs> yeah. So fun story about that piece, but yeah, it 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 was so fun, and it was such a it was an easy piece to customize. I love how smooth the surfaces were to work with. It was a I used the airbrush for the majority of it, um, oh. and it really was it was a great piece to customize. Yeah, I um I the uh, the factory I chose makes a lot of designer toys in in this this type of vinyl. And they're just really reliable. They just make solid. They, they just know how to produce a toy that feels good. And they've been doing it for a long time. So, yeah, I, you know, one of the big things is like if I'm working with an artist and like, you know, we finally like pay for and ship these toys right now. Now they're in the U.S. You can't take it back. It's over. Right. So it's um, like they better be awesome. <laughs> because there's no Backsies, you know. So, so I, we're we're getting questions about how to get them and stuff like that. Let's go over. Do we want to keep everybody on? Are you guys all good to stay on? Hey, Shield. Sure. Yeah, um, I'm good. Yeah. Let's let's show Ditto. Let's show how to these people, the people that aren't savvy to whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's show them how to how to buy one. 
Okay. All right. So you let me know when you're ready here. We will go over to Whatnot. So if you guys aren't familiar with Whatnot, the Whatnot platform is just an app. You just go to your app store, you download Whatnot, you sign up for an account, easy peasy. If you're already on Whatnot and you're not familiar maybe with Tenacious Toys or you know, you don't use the platform a lot. It's very easy. You literally go to Tenacious Toys right here. You're going to see the blue dog. That's Danger Dog right there. And uh, Tenacious Benny. Um, and basically, right here is the show you're looking for. It's uh, tomorrow at noon Central Time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, 103 bookmarks. Let's just uh, go bookmark the hell out of that show. But you come in, you open up the platform, and basically right over here, I'm on a laptop device, but it's a little different on, on your uh, cellular device. Normally, there'd be a little store tab uh, right down on the right-hand side. But basically, you can just go scroll in the uh, auction tab. You're going to see there's buy now, giveaway, auction tab. You're going to go to the auction tab, and you're going to find the piece that you like. And uh, there are opportunities to pre-bid, and there are opportunities to set a notification bell so that when Benny runs that piece, if you had to step to the washroom or you had to duck out for a minute, it'll ping you on your app and let you know, hey, this piece is running. And uh, it's that simple. So, like, here's Rock's uh, piece right here. Let me get rid of that uh, sound. So, there's Rock's piece right there. Mm -hmm. Cool. And it's great. He has pictures of, like, the front and the back. He did a really good job of, like, showing all the, the pictures of it in the show. And if they want to buy just a blank, here yeah. is tenaciousToys.com tenaciousToys.com that's Benny's website you can see right there in front boom there's Crush the Can the new DIY and uh, more info or you can shop right here and uh, grab your piece and there they are boom there's, um, so so the, the DIYs are the same price in either place so like no matter whether you buy on my website or on, on whatnot you're going to pay the same price the one thing I can say about whatnot if you are interested in DIYs is go use one of our referral links to sign up for whatnot if you're a brand new user and they'll give you after you make your first purchase they'll give you a $15 credit to your account so like it, so let's say for instance you want to buy a $60 white uh, crush through whatnot it actually comes out to 45 for you if you're a brand new if you're a brand new whatnot sign up through one of our referral links after wow. you make your purchase they'll credit you $15 to your account. So it, it's that's sort of the most economical way to pick up uh, a blank. I'm um, assuming you'll have some of these available tomorrow on your stream. Yeah, the, I have there. a bunch. Um, you can buy yeah. them now right now on whatnot too. You can, yeah. he's got yeah. some loaded. Okay. Yeah. So hey, ma, uh, Mama Rock and Row is in the building, guys. She's not hey, feeling too great, but she's in here seeing us. So that's Aww, cool. Feel better, Mama. Feel better. Feel better. So uh, Benny, you, you crushed this project and it happened so quick. Like we got our pieces. It was quick. Got it crushed like that. Uh, but he, he got him out to us so fast. I think I had mine in like two days. Yeah. You know, you know, I mean, when you, when you have a timeline and you want to do something, there's really, there's no, you just got to jump on it. You know, yeah. once, once we get the go and I communicate with all of you and I'm like, can we do this? You know? And everyone's like, hell yeah, let's do it. I'm like, all right, then, you know, like, yeah. Let's yep. So, Benny, we want to be conscientious of your time. I know you've uh, dedicated an hour to us already, and we really, really appreciate that. Um, you have a lot, I'm sure, to do to still continue to get ready for a big, big stream tomorrow and a kickoff. So before we let you go, and then we'll kind of wind down uh, the show here, uh, talk to us about beyond tomorrow. Obviously, everyone, guys, please go. If you're not already on the WhatNot platform, go download the app. And go check out that show at 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. It's going to be a killer show. Benny uh, does a great job, and obviously the the the, the artists and the pieces speak for themselves. Um, go sell those out, guys. These artists put a lot of hard work into this. Please, yeah. please, please, go sell these out tomorrow. Uh, yeah. And don't be scared to get in some bidding wars. Let's get in some bidding wars tomorrow. Um, but uh, what else do you have coming up on the horizon for, you know, the remainder of the year? I know you're at a lot of cons. Will you be at five points? Will you be at NYCC? Will you be at collected con? Tell us what's going on with you. I might hang out at five points. I can't really fly to Chicago for collected con, although I would like to, it's just not, I have a six year old and my wife works full time and I got this crazy Malinois here. So it's sort of like, I'm kind of full up with, you know, responsibilities here in New York yeah. City, but um, I do do New York Comic Con um, every October, and that is a that's a 
huge show. It's a ridiculous show. So if you have any inclination to come into New York City and do that show, it is really, really fun. I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe Jim can talk a little bit more about what it feels like to visit from another city and come do the show. Um, yeah. I've been doing it for uh, well over a decade now, and I, I keep steadily growing my my footprint there. And now, actually, my booth is actually bigger than my apartment. Um, so your booth was huge. You had the yeah, whole the booth, collection. the booth was, was was insanely big. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's like you know, I do a collective style booth at New York Comic Con. There really isn't anyone else doing the same kind of thing that I'm doing there. Like a lot of people have their own little booth and they sell their products yeah. and and they do bring in artists. But what I do is I get a ton of floor space. And all around my booth, it's uh, it's 50 feet by um, 20 feet. Uh, every 10 feet is basically like another station with a table with another artist. I mean, it's yeah. kind of like what I do here on Whatnot, what I do on my website, too. I like to gather a tribe of people who create awesome stuff. And at Comic-Con, it's really varied. It's like plushes, apparel, resin toys. I mean, even like official resin toys like you know steve concrete jungles there and he works with like wu-tang and you know the estates of like sean price biggie and like just all the you know rappers and yeah. all kinds of people um i got tattoo artists there caricature people who do caricatures people who do um, make their own stickers and prints and uh lots of pins pin sellers in my booth um Yep. And uh, a, a whole, a whole. I've got Otis who sculpts live every year. I've had okay. um, Doom Code Designs um, doing um, uh, sculpting in virtual reality live, like turning the monitor around so you can see what it looks like when you sculpt in virtual reality. Um, there's been all kinds of stuff. I do custom shows, yep. um, so it's a really, really vibrant place to go. And I try to make it. That's my. That's my big thing. That's what I'm talking right. about. It's my big focus. I spend the entire year trying to figure out what's going to happen inside that 1,000 square feet, you know, and um, it's really fun. So, like, for a lot of people, that's like a that's like a bucket list show. Like, yep. fly to New York, stay there, you know, stay yep. in a hotel, go to New York Comic Con for like like four days. I mean, it's a really intense experience, but it's like it's so fun and so worth it to do every once in a while, um, you know come hang out with me if you're if if you know me from the internet you can just come into my booth and hang out sit down chill talk talk to the artists you know get stuff signed just be a part of it you know um that's my big thing um so can I, you can you tease anything i know you're always working in advance is there any custom show or anything you can tell us yet or is that forthcoming later this year um the custom shows i would plan uh uh closer because like okay the toy production is going on like now, like during right. the year, but I, I don't really know what's going to be available in the couple of months before October, which would be, what is that? August. Yeah. Um, start doing that kind of stuff. Um, maybe a custom show. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously I've got crushes, but you know, will I have crushes in August? I hopefully not. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah, we'll sell them out. Well, I, I can I can tell you this much, guys, and I, I was a first time uh, tenacious toy visitor this year at NYCC. Second time, second or third time going to NYCC in to total, and um, it is a destination booth. It a hundred percent destination booth. Uh, plan on spending some time there. Uh, follow them on the socials because you are going to see some amazing drops, and they do sell out quickly. Like this past year, uh, there were some insane Arlux pieces, and they sold out very very mm -hmm. quick so it is one of the booths you go run to if yeah. you are looking for it is i'm not i'm not joking yeah it is one of the booths that you will watch for drops and you will run to so definitely go check it out uh you can follow benny uh, on whatnot tenacious toys tenacious toys.com and on his socials tenacious toys benny we love you buddy and we cannot wait for the show right. tomorrow you killed it Thank you for being on DT4, I, buddy. I appreciate you guys all so much. I, I really, you know, I can't, there's no way I could do what I do without a whole tribe of awesome artists and creators. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I appreciate all of you and uh, we're going to go and knock it dead. We're going to, we're going to go show uh, whatnot, what it's like to have a right. have awesome show, you know, That's right. whatnot con and style, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, it is an honor to be part of your tribe, Benny. And oh, I feel yes. like you. It is. It's right twice and i was like man it is it is an honor to, to yeah. let me see if i can get where, where are my hearts come on come on where are my hearts get, 
There they are. <laughs> Why don't we get those wrong? My fan. Rock, are you blocking us, dude? Why don't like, we get a heart? On, yeah, I don't know. Benny's got all the cool filters. Benny's got the, all the filters yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. All right, Benny. Thank you, buddy. We will see you tomorrow with the lasers. Look at the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Benny has all the toys. Literally, even toys on his uh, on his uh, yeah. on his screen. All right, there. Benny. Thank you again for hanging out. Thank um, you so much. It's always a pleasure yeah, to talk to you guys. I'm we will see. You we will see you tomorrow. See Thank you, tomorrow. Benny. Peace. All right. Later, brother. Good night. So uh, let's go around the room here before we wind things up. We're about the hour and 10 minute mark. So let's talk to these amazing artists that we have on and that are part of this uh, Crush the Can show. Uh, we'll just go in order here. Uh, Sketch, um, tell us what you got coming up for the year uh, and what we can look forward to out of Sketch. Uh, first off, I'm not even going to teach kids tomorrow, apparently, because it's during during class time this whatnot yeah, time. So. Yeah. Nice. Poor, poor, poor to look out. Poor Way children. To look out for our children. Those in a book. Put a video on or something. Movie day. They're gonna watch, yeah. this. They're gonna watch this con happen. I'm gonna just project it. <laughs> Put it right up it's on the art. Hey, screen. it's art. It's art. Are you gonna go live with them? Are you gonna go live with them to go do it? Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't asked to, but that would be funny. <laughs> <I'll have laughs> live from your me. classroom. <laughs> live from the classroom. That would be amazing. Um, no, you're you got a lot of cool cool stuff coming up. So talk talk a little uh, bit about what you got coming up for the rest of the year. For the rest of the year, I have so many things. I have so many collabs. Uh, but let's start with Monday. Monday, four fifteen. Um, I have the April showers make it rain custom design show at nine thirty. Uh, that is featuring my my prodigy, uh, my my child, um, Sad Fire Days. Um, she is dropping her first designer toy ever um she designed it i modeled it i printed it uh we're dropping protos so we'll have protos in many sizes uh because we have to get some things right so those will be the one of ones and then you know of course what i do i go overboard and i design a whole bunch of designer toys um for no reason whatsoever but to stress myself out um <laughs> That's but right. we have summer summer up already on the whatnot on pre-bid you know we have the new york chomp uh did not know that was a 2020 new york comic-con exclusive when i started drilling holes in it so <laughs> i'm glad that it worked out the way it did um because i always i always find out what they cost and that's how i start the bid yep. of just the cost and then i looked at it and i was like ah crap it's a it's one of those rare ones um but i got that going and then uh commissions will open at the end of the month um okay. i'll have i'll have diy cards on monday that i have done i haven't done diy cards since ditto's christmas show so i will have some diys going on um then five points i'm draw i'll drop a, a new toy at five points y'all nice. seen the proto of it then i then you know rock, rock show we have figures mrs sketch is dropping in, in rock show uh that's homage awesome. because rock again rock put me on with mr sketch last year and might as well drop mr sketch this year in the following show that is the only one that will be made she did, looks great too that that toy you did an awesome job with that toy yeah that is the only one i will have a bigger size one for my show but i will not be producing that at all until later on in the year um again five points uh then collected con so many yeah secret drops oh um, there are so many collabs that are happening um and then i got i got some i got some really cool secret stuff in the works for before comic con next year before my birthday um i'm putting something really special together that is um y'all have to just like wait and see for it it's the first thing that I will ever produce, like myself, like full fledged produce myself. So, stay tuned for that. A, a big year, to say the least, for you, Mister Sket. <laughs> uh, we can also say that uh, first off, if you, if you guys are going to be at Five Points, you're going to be at Collected Con in Chicago. Are you going to Decon Sketch? Do you know or no? He did. Uh, what what do you say today, Sketch? If if Rockets a booth, I'm going to go. Okay. So 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 that's likely happening and then uh i'm sure people at least to drop by nycc again this year yeah oh I, I go every year okay so you're gonna have a few opportunities uh if you're in any of those areas to go see sketch in person we can tell you that at uh at our booth at um collected con 
Uh, Sketch not only is going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff with us, but he will be signing at that event. So if you are uh, interested in bringing some of your creatives cards, I'm sure he'll have other things he's going to have there that are going to be uh, signing. But it'll be a great opportunity to drop by and meet him. Uh, we will be announcing those things on the DT4 IG, DT4 underscore oh, live. I, I, can't say, I can't say I'm bringing blank DIYs and I'm giving them away. There you go. Wow. And so, so no call, no drawing on it, just the card. No, I'm just I'm just giving them the blank. Okay, yeah. that's, that's what I said, right? And we, and we have our toy. We have my signed sketches. blank DIY cards. Do your own. My sketches toy was dropping at Collected and then, Con. And and oh man, oh man, the that drummer. is such a good piece. Yeah. Uh, well, blessings to my day one for asking me to be a part of that. It's gonna be fun. We, we uh we can't wait sketch. Uh, literally, I say this all the time, and I'm not blowing smoke. You uh, every every time. You do a new whatnot show every time you drop a new piece, every time you do a new piece of art, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Your ceiling is rising. You're breaking through it. It's ridiculous. You're uh, you're really setting setting kind of a uh, a blazing trail for a lot of people to follow. So and oh, I appreciate that. You you are an artist artist. You're always looking out for your own. So kudos to you, man. You're a good dude. Oh, and Big Dog Dave show and Big Dog Dave show on Saturday. Yes. That's right. Yep. Big Dog Dave show on Saturday. All right. So Miss Tucci, aka Little Tiny Tooch. Ink Toos, talk about it. What do you got coming up this year? Uh, right now, working on the uh, Pieces for Rocks mini series. Um, Let's go. So those, those should be done pretty soon. Um, this year, I'm really focusing on collabs. So I'm doing a lot more sticker collabs, print collabs. I'm doing 228 collabs with a bunch of, you know, graffiti artists and stuff like that. Not really in this community, but those are really fun and challenging. So I'm having fun with that. Um, I'm really busy signing Grimley's cards. So if you have any of those, you can send them my way. There you go. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> you know, we got collected con. Um, I, I was trying to make it out to five points. I don't think that'll happen, okay. but uh, collected con for sure. So I know I got some stuff to work on for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm taking it one project at a time. So we, so we finished the crush thing. I got a piece in big dog Dave's charity too. Yep. And then Rock's nice. uh, project is next. And then, you know, occasionally a commission here and there. So, and so she doesn't know it yet, but we're, we're going to have a dunk booth uh, at Collective Con where you can come and try to knock her in the water. Target. Hey, you know? what, why are you always picking on me? Or a Velcro yeah, three, wall. When you get three and a half balls, three and a half shots. We could put her in a Velcro suit. Just we couldn't afford a heavy duty booth like that. We couldn't. It was it was child size, so we had to like <laughs> a little kiddie pool. What the hell? Dude, <laughs> why, why the hate? Why the hate on Tooch tonight? That's I so rude. Her. We love her. We that is her. so out of character for you guys. I don't even get it. <laughs> oh yeah. Red yeah. said that she's gonna try and watch Kong versus Godzilla too. Ooh. So Tooch will Red. be signing. Tooch will be signing as well. Yeah. At Collecting oh, that's dope. Because yeah. I don't have any signed Tucci cards. What? So she'll be no, doing. I'm, we, I'm we, assuming we, she's doing something special to sign. I don't know what the, the whole scoop is, but she's going to be signing wait. there. I can't wait to find out either. So well, yeah. So here, here's where we're at on things. And since we're talking about this a little bit, uh, Sketch and Red are going to be signing uh, at simultaneously. At time to be determined. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. We've got Tucci and DXE that are going to be signing t simultaneously at a time to be determined. Although it'll be on Saturday. Because DXC has to leave on Sunday, and then we have uh, the Aussie boys, uh, the Paper Nault and uh, Ruxy, who will be signing simultaneously at our table, and a couple other surprises in the works. So uh, a yeah. lot of really cool stuff there, guys. So do not sleep, uh, Tucci. Uh, I can say this about you, honestly. Uh, you uh, have become a great friend of ours. You are fun to pick on, even in your good sport yeah. about it. We love that. Um, but you give it, you give it back and she we does. like that. She does too. give it. She does give, give it. Um, sure. so, and, and you're the only artist that has her own theme song in the Wait. creative. Love so it. What more do you need? Yeah. Like? Another trivia yeah. question. Write it down. Another yeah. trivia Wait, question. He, he doesn't have, he doesn't have a, trivia, a, a song. Well, no. he, sad he Anna does. Song. Sad yeah. Anna has its own. It's, yeah. I'm in love with the stripper. All right. Sorry. Oh. Anyway. Who's that? He's my brother. <laughs> He's from Texas. <laughs> uh, so Tucci, uh, we love you, and you're killing it. Honestly, you guys you, too. You've been doing some great stuff as well. Uh, your your big deck <laughs> energy. Uh, oh. You you've got a, a fun spirit and a and a great sense of humor, and you're uh, you're great. So we love you. Uh, thank so you guys. Thank follow Inktus, aka Tiny Little Tucci. Follow Sketchy Sketch. Now, 
Mr. Sneak, the man, just pounded out probably 17 pieces of At art. Least while seven. We I've been watching them. Gucci and Sketch. So uh, what do you got coming up, buddy? You got a lot on the in, on the docket here, I think, right? First off, I'd like to apologize. I know I've been creating this whole time that the show has been going on, but my motor was already going. That's, right. that's what, that's what we're here know. for. We're just chatting, man. We want to inspire <laughs> art and creativity. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. So basically, what my year is looking like, so I made the, the mental promise to myself, is to show my potential which I, I honestly don't show my potential a lot so to shoot a lot more shots for shows and such mm. especially with me having my my own gallery and everything now so uh i got a lot of custom pieces coming out doing some some secret stuff with rock doing some secret stuff with ditto doing some secret stuff with sketch so yeah i'm all over the place but definitely showing a lot more potential this year yeah yo and the gallery the, i have to say the gallery is insane looking but I also like that you have those Sunday come chill and draw with me times mm -hmm. because yeah. you also call it sketch and, and I love it. I can't wait. For I you thought to sketch was going to be there drawing. I was going to fly <laughs> in, but it was sketch with sneak. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah, yeah. You're, you're like an hour. I, I, I was going to map you out and go there. And I was like, mm -hmm. he's like an hour from me. That's a lot of driving in Jersey. What are you like Brooklyn? I'm in like Rockaway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Rock but I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah. Lean yeah. back. One rock. He's one rock away from you. That's it. One. One rock. One rock away. <laughs> uh, Snake, you are also very, uh, very loved in in the community. You are awesome. Uh, you got the amazing spirit. One of the funniest dudes we know. Uh, you're killing it, uh, guys way too underrated for his talent level please please uh go support all of these artists sneak included uh he is on the whatnot platform as is sketch tucci is going to do some pop-ups from now uh and maybe we'll have her own uh, presence at some point but uh all all these artists are on their social channels they all got a lot going on uh they're all going to be uh involved in a lot of stuff with dt4 over the year as well and uh there's no reason not to just support the hell out of them Yes. Um, so please go do that. Uh, Sneaky, we love you. Tucci, we love you. Love Sketch, you. we love, love you, buddy. Sneak, I love this, by the way. Thank yeah, you. I love it. You're welcome. Thank you. I have a nice little collection from Sneak. I love it. I, I love want it. everybody to be sneakified. Sneakified. <laughs> that's, a, that's a word. Put it in your trivia that's book. It. That's it. Sneakified. Um, all right, guys. We're going to let you all go. And um, we're gonna I was going to say, can you, can you like leave me linger in there i just want to talk to y'all about something no we will kick you like everybody else <laughs> no you can wait you can wait in the green room brother you can yeah. wait in the green room all right um, guys again guys tomorrow is going to be awesome please come by and support these artists it's going to be amazing i can't wait to see the show crush the can we got a, a dozen amazing artists including rock including b hold on hold on b, Grim has a last question uh-oh uh-oh let's see we haven't had one of those in a while Everyone state your favorite French word and why. Mine is baguette because French, it's fun. French fries. French toast. I love it. Uh, omelette du fromage. <laughs> uh, attends. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you, dude. Bless you. Grim, what's yours? <laughs> I can count to 11 in French. That's all I, I, I got. That's all I got. <laughs> I like the French fry though. I do love it. One, two, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Is French when it goes chocolate bleu? That's it. Voulez-vous uh, coucher avec Mary? Anyway, so ho hopefully yeah. everybody can come by to the show. If you cannot, um, it will be on YouTube. Benny posts it to YouTube, and you can also go on whatnot and watch the past shows and see it yep. there too. So, and if you yep. can't, if you can't um, be there, at least please share the link, um, yes. share the, you know, share it on social media, share, you know, share it with your yep. friends so that that way you can get some bodies in that, in that room to support. Sharing is caring, guys. Sharing yes. is caring. Yeah, absolutely. And pre-bid now, that way if you're not going to be there, at least you pre Yeah, pre-bids work, guys. Pre-bids definitely work if you can't make it, so. Yes, for sure. All right, guys, we're going to boot these youngins out of here and they're going to wind us down and um well thank you guys for hanging out this yeah. this is another trivia question what's the first dt show that had more than one get or was it 
Yeah, I think we may have had two. We've had two a couple of times. But the Christmas of, special, we had a couple, two, three people in. We've never had four. We've no, never. never, had four. never. Point never. five. Same Point. Same time. This was, this was the first. This was the. Oh no, no, you were off the show. I was gonna say, did Diddle pull my one of one? But that was not the second time. That was the second. Let's time. not start that show. combo. That's yeah. a sad. <laughs> you're, never, you're never gonna see it. You're never gonna see it. All right, yeah, guys. We will right see you guys here. later. Um, right. we'll we'll talk to you guys. I'm sure within the next yeah couple minutes. Twenty minutes. Right. Thank right. y'all. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Good night, guys. Bye. See ya. Yeah. All right. Wow. So another uh, another great one in the books. Um, we've got something in the works for a couple of weeks from now. Uh, don't have the official announcement quite yet, but uh, stay tuned. We will have a couple of uh, dope um, shows coming up on the horizon. Uh, we got a lot in the works, guys. A lot in yeah. the works. So yeah. uh, who wants to go first today? Well, besides our individual stuff, DT4 has a lot coming up. Yep. That's be on the lookout, guys. It's gonna be we're 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 doing a lot of stuff. It's gonna be fun. You guys can all be involved as well. So yeah. um E B, you guys wanna go first tonight? Sure. Uh yeah, what I mean you know, the, the whatnot con, we're gonna have the um the trendy bears on Saturday. It's gonna be a good time. So we'll be going on a little bit after Big Dog Dave's charity stream. So definitely that takes priority. Um, so bounce around, you know, kind of hopping ours, staying Dave's. Um, what you gotta be? Um, I will not be at Whatnot Con because I am gonna be a dance competition with Maya. So um, you're yeah. dancing in it, or are you just taking her there? Um, I am definitely just taking. Her okay, there. just check it. Um, I'm trans. I'm transportation for that. Oh, gotcha. Um, yeah, so, but um, I'll definitely be on, you know, both Big Dog Dave's, you know, in that show and then occasionally popping into ours. So, yeah. but definitely, you know, unfortunately, the timing on it really sucks and and we couldn't um, move our time because of it being whatnot con. Yeah. Um, but we, we do want you guys to go support Dave and support that charity. And so, um, you know, we had considered completely canceling it, but we don't necessarily think that's a good idea either so yeah. we'll be on but we're also going to be cheering you know cheering him on too so and there's and plenty we all of, have there's, pieces we all have pieces there yeah so. there's there's plenty to go around uh there's no reason you can't there's multiple devices uh you can go in and, and bookmark the pieces that you want for big dog dave and go support the hell out of that and still you know pop any and bees so there's no reason not to to uh support both yeah. And then I'm working on, or I'm about to start working on rocks pieces. And so is E. So yeah. rock, don't you, it's going it, to, they're going to be great. I'm so excited. I it's know gonna they're going to be great. I have no doubt. Like I've never doubted that whatsoever. <laughs> it's just the timeline. We just I like to brush to... you out. We like to get it to you right at the very last. That's thing. fine. As long as I get them, there's no grace period. So there it's like, I got to build these things. So yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. So we're so we're so doing, June. The, the date is June. June first. Sure, you can have your own show in June. We'll do your pieces. Um. Yeah. And then um, I'm working on a couple collabs currently, like some digital stuff. And then yeah, that's that's it. We're still in the works with you know stuff with us. And yeah, that's about it for our side of things. Cool. All right. Well, I'll go next. Ditto. Um, okay. I have collected con tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm running. What not um, con? Not collected con. What not con? What not con? I got yeah. collected con on the brain. What not con tomorrow? Yeah. Um, my normal time: five o'clock uh, Pacific, eight Eastern, seven Central. Um, you like that? Is. Like yeah. you read through Thank that? You. All right. That. Um, I am going to be giving a lot of stuff away, so there will be a bunch of giveaways. I'm not sure what I'm running yet. It, sh it should be fun. It won't be a long stream. Um, and then let's we'll see what else do I got. I got the toys that are super close to being here. If you guys pre-ordered a toy, they're really, really close to shipping them. They've already been painted. So they're just putting them all together right now. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so I can't wait for that. Um, my mini series starts one may my show is scheduled. The very first show is scheduled for the 30th because I should have the majority of the pieces back. Um, so that first show, make sure you guys bookmark that show. I've already got one artist pieces that came in today. Amazing. 
They looked so good. So you guys are in for a treat. Um, 31 artists in this series. Are you going to start showing teasers or are you going to make I will. And I told the artists they can show teasers as well. Mm -hmm. You guys can, it's not a secret thing. So you guys can promote as much as you want and show okay. off your art. Uh, Cause this is the artist series. And uh, are you doing like, a blind, blind box style again though? Blind all same exact way. Blind boxes. Um, there's a lot of artists. Jay Martin is putting in his brand new toy. That's never been released yet. Nice. Sketch is putting in Mrs. Sketch. Uh, Sneaky is putting in his toy and uh, mm -hmm. the list goes on. Um, it, it's just going to be crazy. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. So that's my big thing. I'll be painting minis for the next two weeks straight. So, so you just, uh, you won't see much of rock. He'll just be buried in painting. That'll be it until the toys show up. So <laughs> nice. Nice. But yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. And any that. updates on your, uh, your tick punch my pieces? That's the so they are. Yeah. So if you guys saw my Instagram yesterday, it might still be up in my story. Mm -hmm. Uh, I showed a little tease from the factory. They're starting to send me videos and pictures. Um, so they're ready. They're already painted. They're just getting assembled now. So I'm excited. They look dope. And I, I'm paying to get them expedited. So they're not going to go on a ship. So it should be quicker getting them here. So I can't wait. I can't wait to get mine. Uh, yeah. First off, congrats, Rock. That's huge, man. That is really, really, really cool. I appreciate we're, it. It's, we're, all, we're all proud of you. All thanks to Mouth. Like he's helped so much. Um, and, I, and he's taught me so much. And we got some other plans coming up too. It may be happening. Um, he's going to start taking over the, the, the game he's, he's doing, I know E and B have been with him the last couple weekends and he's doing great stuff. So I'm excited to be a part of it. I really am. Yeah. It's a lot of, it's really, really kind of an exciting time. I I just, I just want to say something before I kind of talk about what I got coming up. Cause I, I got a busy month, but, um, I really want to just kind of give kudos to both rock E and B because, you guys have really done a hell of a lot in a short amount of time. If you just think back about a year ago where things were at rocks on series four of his minis, he's collaborating with artists. He's helped so many artists get their first toy, uh, you know, off the production line. Uh, he's got his own friggin' collab toy. Now his own resin that he's wanted. That was like a dream of his B your journey has been incredible to watch E you're starting to blossom and starting to skyrocket and getting into customs and all kinds of stuff it's really fun to watch guys it really is um and it's 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 exciting and i know that there were uh, a, a lot of work behind that a lot of years behind that where maybe you guys dabbled in art and creativity and other things rock i know you used to do you know the jewelry and all kinds of stuff but for something that we love so much that is kind of right in the sweet spot of what we all do which is collect and love art and love artists and love toys it's really impressive to see what you guys have done in just a really a short amount of time when you look in the rearview mirror. So pat your guys, pat you guys selves on the back for real, for real. Yeah, it, it, you, you guys I was say your your DIY game, um, sir. Talk about you know some blossoming. There there has been a lot of improvement in in your art game as well. So Thank kudos to all of us. I think that we just feed each other's creativity yeah, and, and not and just us, it's the community that's in general. The goal. Yeah, well, I was gonna say. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, it's it's been a it's it's been a crazy twelve months, like r literally. Seeing, seeing yeah. Shields um, say, have her shields? custom, oh my god, like and she does digital. Um, that's what she does graphic design for work. I found out. So, who so is that, this now? Do your Shield, Shield Nova. Oh, Shield Nova. Yeah, yeah. She was in the chat this evening. That's oh, nice. Um, and yeah, her her piece was just incredible and she you know gives shout outs to us that we helped inspire that and the fact that like we could even you know yeah put kindling in a in a fire like that is is i look, look at i mean honestly for me uh you know when i hear and i've heard kind words from many artists and many people uh that means the most to me like honestly mm -hmm. like if i hear a nice little dm or you know a, a voice message or a note or whatever uh, uh it's just it it, it it makes my heart, you know, three sizes bigger it really is very cool. Yeah. Um, and it, the new toy game is I, I just noticed so many people wanting to decorate toys and to produce their own toy that yeah. they've wanted to do it for so long. And they finally got to do it. That's what I love doing. Like to help them get that piece in their hand and say, yeah. Hey, this is my yeah. 
this is my drawing and it came to a, a toy. I think it's, uh, you've, such- you've, you've been a big catalyst in that, uh, in that arena for, you know, the past year, but that inspires me though, that, that drives me to do okay. my own stuff as well. Like I need to, you know, keep stepping up my game and that's, again, that's this us pushing all of each other. You know, I think it's great. Um, so- very quickly here, uh, I don't want to take a lot of time with this, but I do have a big month coming up. Uh, this Friday, I have my Whatnot Con show. Um, I'm giving away a $150 retail piece. Um, it's going to be a, a, one of the Uber jankies. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I've got a really cool uh, designer con case uh, to run and some other goodies and surprises. Um, but I've got a, I'm excited about a couple other things I got coming up this month. First off, Rock, I'm honored to say that uh, I will be doing my very first custom toys in your show. That's all awesome. right. One of them's really, really cool. And I got to give a little tip to the cap to uh, Sketch for helping me on it. Um, it's, it's a fun piece. It's truly a collaborative effort three times over here. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, so it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be kind of neat to see those that those get pulled for the first time. Uh, you know, I'm kind of looking forward to that. And then um, I've got a collab stream with uh, a couple of people that I love, Grouper Dog and BD this month. Uh, one's in the soda arena as I'm purging my soda collection. And the other one's designer toys with Grouper. And I've got uh, some collab stickers, thanks to Sneak, that uh, are going to be really cool and limited. Um, I've also got... Um, uh, two big streams coming up right in the first part of May as well. I've got my three year anniversary on whatnot, which I can't believe that I've been uh, streaming. Uh, I've been on the platform for four plus years and I can't believe that I've actually been hosting streams for over three years now. It's crazy. Um, and there's going to be a lot of surprise guests, including Nat Geo, Mo and Maddie, Philip, and others that will be involved in that. And I've got a very, very incredibly cool secret top secret print that is going to blow frigging minds on uh on my birthday stream which is a couple weeks after that so um and then collected con that's what i'm really excited about we are in full like gear up mode all of us uh we are starting to get like booth you know backdrops and pieces together we're starting to get like all of the ideas going and we have a new print that's going to be a dt4 creatives uh collab limited unbelievable unbelievable print honestly guys i can't i can't say enough about this i'm like through the moon excited about it so it's going to be really really cool so stay tuned for a lot of news on that front and please for the love of god dt4 underscore live go follow that ig because that's where you're going to get all this information and i and i forgot to mention i got to give him shout out um philip 1l um is everybody loves frank my character frank so i asked philip if he would help me do a mold for frank and i sent him the resin piece he was having issues printing frank he's a pain in the ass but so i sent him frank he's gonna actually make the mold for me and then that'll be my first pouring type of figure if it comes if it comes out the way you know he wants it to so philip's helping me do that and then again we're right back to helping each other and uh it's pretty exciting so yeah well so it's a lot going on guys so definitely uh keep Keep, uh, uh, you know, your ear to the ground and on all the IG channels, Rocking Toys, E underscore Saldana, B Saldana. What is it? 714? 716. 716. Uh, 316. Oh, 316. I should, I should know that. I know. I know it has to do with. I know. I'm. I'm Make sure you guys follow that. Follow. Follow Sad Anna on all of her socials. Sad Anna. Too, yeah. Sad Anna. Is that, Sad Anna is actually a guy. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, Sorry. yeah. Well, that's it. I think uh, that's probably a good place to end it tonight. We're at the hour and yes. a half mark. We got a lot to do anyway. So, yes, nonstop. But, guys, another great show, guys. Another one. Please share this out, like we always say. Please share it out. And uh, let's get some more eyes on this show and more artists in our seats, which we will be. We got some great guests coming up. So, stay tuned for that. So, that's it, guys. Everybody have a fantastic night. Um, again, thanks for hanging out with us on a Wednesday night again. Whatnot Con is in the building for ne- this coming week. So exciting news. 
Everybody be safe, stay happy, and gosh darn it, guys. Be nice to each other, and we'll see you on the next one.